Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm making a pretty bold claim, and I'm saying this is one of the best transmitters you could possibly purchase if you're starting out, or even if you're in the market with not a lot of cash. And you might say, why the hell would you say such a thing? This is its main selling point, theoretically in the market is this, but this is actually a piece of shit. And this is not what you're supposed to be looking at. And I'll explain why in a little bit. When I first received it, I was like, what the hell do I need with this? Why the hell would I make a video for this? It's gonna be a piece of crap. But then again, I sat down, I said, I just started thinking about this. And this is actually quite remarkable. And let's get into this. So first of all, again, forget the multi-protocol bullshit here, put it on the side. What do you get? You get a controller. This controller should have been sold for 50 bucks without this because you don't need this. And let me explain why. People would have seen it like, okay, what the hell do I need this for? Is I, I'm not going to buy just a controller with nothing that transmits any sort of frequency or any sort of protocol. But you're actually wrong. What you get here, if you got this for 50 bucks without this piece of crap, what you can do, this is a holder for the R9 system, for the TBS Crossfire, for the Wolfbox 433 megahertz one watt uh, module here. This can do everything and it's running OpenTX. So forget the multi-protocol bullshit, forget its range. This is actually a remarkable deal. What they provided you with is a decent controller that is compatible with every single module on the market. This is its main selling point, but it's very difficult to actually put that into the market. And it took me a while to figure that out after using it. And I have been using it. I put around three days into this and I just sat down and I just started to think and doing my research. Not only that, this thing will not need a modification to run the low latency protocol on the TBS Crossfire. When the QX7 does, I don't know about the FR Sky X Lite. Also the Horus, which is my $500 radio, needs to be modded in order to take advantage of the TBS Crossfire low latency protocol. This one does not. That is just remarkable right out of the box. Not only that, they give you just about everything you need to get going. Hall Effect gimbals, they are pretty decent. The throw, I would have liked them to have just a little bit more throw, but it's comparable to the x Lite in that perspective. The gimbals are pretty good. They were very loose when they first arrived, but they are adjustable and I have adjusted them as to what I like. Hey guys, this is Mesh from the future and I forgot to say and show you one important thing. This thing runs Lua scripts and it has the full function telemetry of every single thing you'll be connecting to. So keep that in mind also, forgot to mention in the video and carry on. You also get four three position switches, which is a huge plus, and two two position switches, which is really nice, and you get some sliders on the side, which is pretty awesome. So you do have a lot of switches going on for it. You have decent gimbals, it feels good in your hand, and it takes two types of power sources. It can take either a 2S lithium lipo battery, lithium polymer, or you can put four AA batteries, which they give you the holder for. And not only that, when you crack this open, you even have an SD card slot here. So if you wanted to do whatever you wanted, you could easily do that there. And it's also up upgradable or up you can update this. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. You can even update this. So in terms of a controller, forget again, forget this here. I wish that this was not provided. If this was 50 bucks, I probably still wouldn't have picked it up without really thinking about it. But I'm actually glad that I got it. And um, I'm pretty sure they had to put this in because nobody else would have bought it, to be honest. So this would, should have been in the market as their main selling point. Oh, it's compatible with everything. But in reality, what they went for, and I can see that, and I do appreciate that, is they made a decent controller that is compatible with every single module in the market. And this will not affect your R9 range. You will not affect your TBS Crossfire range. It will not affect the Wolfbox range. It will not affect any of that range. The range is only affected by the module you're using. So if this was a shitty module, they'd be like, ah, oh, the range is shit. This whole device is shit. But you're actually wrong. This is what's, I'm not saying this is a piece of shit. I'm just saying that would be the thing to blame. I still haven't tested this, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty decent. And again, you might say, okay, well, I can do that on my FR Sky X Lite. Yes, but the amount of price, the, the price you save with this is remarkable, especially if you're a type of guy who don't have much cash to fully invest in something like this. It'll save you some cash because this is 84 bucks. And again, I really wish, I really wish they did not install the multi-protocol module or, or just gave another option without it where you can get this for 50 bucks because that would have been the best deal on the market currently and again when i first received it, i was like ah what the hell do people need this for the hell did they make it and again 
out of the box, you're still going to be compatible with everything. But I also do wish, do wish that they provide this without the module, but for cheaper for people who don't have much cash and would rather spend that extra 35 bucks or 40 bucks on an R9 module or a TBS Crossfire. So in, in that perspective, this thing is an absolute beast. And all you can think about this is that this is just a controller for modules. That's it. It's nothing else. It does not have a system inside to transmit any sort of protocol. So you, like this, it doesn't do anything. It just boots up. That's all it does. It relies on whatever is connected in the back. And it's absolutely basic inside, which is really nice. Okay, so once we pop this guy open, this is what we get inside. Now inside what we do, we do have some silicone wires for the gimbals, which is really nice because they're going to be moving quite often. And it reduces the chances of them just accidentally breaking from a lot of wear and tear. This thing should have been cheaper. And the only thing that is bringing up its price is this. Because again, people won't know what the hell to actually use this for. Really nice device. It's a really nice device. I can say that right now. And I would recommend it for someone who doesn't have much cash. Um, it's, it's just, it's a really great deal here. What you're getting here is, is pretty remarkable. Um, I, and again, I wish they didn't provide that module, but possibly some people will need that module to get going because the, this will probably be their first radio. And I could totally understand that. And um, if you just had, you know, 84 bucks or you needed a backup radio, actually this would serve as a beautiful backup radio, to be honest. Um, a, a really great backup radio because you can just quickly put whatever module you're using and lately I've just been using a lot of modules so uh, yeah it'll just uh, work for with anything with anything right out of the box maybe you wanted a a spectrum micro from somewhere and you just put back your multi protocol module and you're good to go or you just wanted an FR Sky Holybro Copus 3 or something uh, this will work right out of the box for you with that multi protocol module but the, also the option to come without a multi protocol option uh, would be really great I, I think would be really great um, because if someone already has like a fly sky and he wanted to just you know he just wanted it for to put you know the R9 system or a TBS crossfire system he got it on sale and now he's just waiting for the right receiver to get this will not need any sort of modification in order to take full advantage of that TBS crossfire low latency system unlike the X Lite and uh, the QX7 and unlike the uh, the Horus X10 I don't know about the X12 but I have the Horus X10 so overall in my opinion I would definitely recommend this it has its own people and again i think i've made it clear who this would be for it's a really great radio i would give it a total of probably 8 out of 10 because the build quality is decent it's like a 7 out of 10 but the overall price and the package of what you're getting into this is really great actually um just put everything to the side i'm an fr sky fanboy i'd admit it but when I just sat down and I really thought about it, this is actually a great deal for a lot of people, especially people who really want to get into the module systems uh, for long range or just better penetration. So overall, Jumper, you guys did a really great job. And um, I can't wait to see an updated version. And well, that's going to include it for this video, guys. If I did help you make a purchase or avoid a purchase, please consider using the links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And I do have a Patreon. If you can support me there, that'll be absolutely awesome. And again, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.